Hey everybody, this is Fran. We're, today we're just going to go through a couple of very short videos about uh, some APEX refreshers and updates. First, we're going to go through procedure documentation. So first, I want to go to EPIC. Now I'm in the sandbox. Um, so for documenting procedures, we want to go to the ED narrator. And down on the left hand side, you see procedures. Open that up. And these are the procedures that were determined to be the most used by both East Bay and West Bay. So we'll just kind of very quickly go through some of those. So 12 lead EKG, we never do our 15s, ABG. Um, we do eye ear irrigation. So if you have to get that cerumen out, you, that's where you can document ear and eye. Okay. Um, on to crutch teaching, just make sure that you document the assistive device, what it is that you're, you're teaching them. And remember that we do have a video on crutch teaching on the iPad. So please show them that uh, and document that they actually looked at the video. Then you would go in and do your demonstration and have them return demonstration. Um, and then you would document it here. Invasive procedures will bring up your timeout. So this would be for our LPs. Um, for sedations, that would come up in your sedation narrator, but the invasive procedure is the timeout for LPs because all of our patients, 100% of our patients have to have a timeout done prior to an LP procedure. Uh, nebulizer peak flow, you can see here, it just gives you the root and uh, additional documentation. Under ortho, it comes up with quite a bit. So if your patient has a splint, uh, you wanna document it here, and you also wanna document your post-splint placement uh, assessment. So again, as in TNCC, whenever you mess, reassess. So after you put the splint on, you wanna make sure that they have good CMS distal to the splint. So you would document all of that here, any splints, if they put a cast, other braces such as our cam boot, um, our knee immobilizers would be documented here as well. Even if you do a wrap, an ACE wrap, or a, not, a shoulder immobilizer, that would be documented here as well. Uh, C collars also here, um, and braces and any the procedural assistance, how much uh, time that was given in, with your assistance. Uh, pelvic exams, this is mostly to document that you were present during a pelvic exam that you acted as the uh, chaperone, because as we all know, every provider needs to have a chaperone regardless of uh, patient desire or uh, physician um, preference. Urine collection, again, you can put in either clean catch, bagged, or straight cath, and then document what you get out. Visual acuity would, be go, would go here. Any wound procedure, and again, this brings up a lot of information. So from lacerations to abrasions to deglovings, uh, what intervention was uh, performed, irrigation solution, uh, dressings, etc. If you don't see the procedure that was performed here, click on the Add button, and up will come a box. These are all the available um, choices for procedures. Uh, it includes all of these here, but there are some additional ones like bladder scan, um, irrigation, which we never do, uh, decontamination. So if someone comes in, say, with a pepper spray and we decontaminate them, you want to document that here. And let me show you what that looks like. So decontamination, that comes to a flow sheet, OK? Uh, so you would just fill this out, and um, that would be perfect. So back to the narrator. We'll get back to our ad. Um, all right, enemas, any warming measures, um, lift assist if you use the easy lift to get them in or out of bed, 
Um, you have your pelvic exam, which we already talked about, post-intubation assessment. Again, this is not something that would be documented in APEX because we would be on the hard copy at this point. But this does give the SART exam, and this is for us only, uh, that you acted as a chaperone, what kit was you, you that the kit was prepared, and um, the time of assistance by staff, and the response, patient response to the procedure. All right, we'll go back to add. Uh, suctioning is another good one. So is it airway, nasal? It opens, once you hover over this, it will open up other options. So again, you would just document what was done, what came out, all of that good stuff. We'll go back to add. All right, uh, and then we'll go back to other procedures. So again, CPR, we would never click on because we would be on hard copy. If we did a laceration repair, an LP, an IND, ring object removal, any of those procedures can be documented there, okay? So that's kind of the short and skinny. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.